This is Muhammad Barada again. I'm going to show you today uh, the benefits of last direct cost and item cost. So we'll go, first we have to go to items. I will select this Calgary whiteboard. So when I double click on the item, this is the item card in Dynamics Nav. So you see here that under the cost and posting, we have something called last direct cost. This one is the last, why they call it last direct cost? It is the last cost that I purchased or last cost that I did positive adjustment. So either positive adjustment or purchase. But I will consider in my video today the purchase part. So it is now 708.60. How it's going to be changed? When you do a new purchase order, I will keep this item card open. So I'm going to go to purchase order okay so just i will minimize it here and go to purchase order i put purchase order in the, here in the search then i will click new so here when i i will buy a new i will do a new purchase order from this item so uh, i put here item i paste the item number it is 18988 w calgary whiteboard you see here the, the direct unit cost it comes automatically here 708.60 so i will put five okay look at it here if i put here 800 so now the last direct cost is 800 so even if i put here and the last and the discount amount if i put here 100 okay so multiply by five which is 500 if i put the discount of 500 the last direct cost is 800 so when i post the purchase order the last direct cost it will be surely 800 it will not be 800 by 5 minus 5 by 100 so it will not be 700 no even if i put a discount 100 on the item so it's very important to know this that the last direct cost that is available on the item card it ignore the line amount discount amount it will consider only the last di the direct unit cost here so here now when i post here i will have to put the the vendor invoice number i click post post and receive you see that the item now if i refresh here it is 800 so it is not 700 as it was supposed to be if you uh, it will consider the line discount amount so the last direct cost on the item card it showed the last uh, time the direct cost that you purchase and last time or the positive adjustment case you have if you have line discount amount it will ignore this because it show you the direct cost directly so if you would like to show the direct cost as 700 you had to put the direct cost on the purchase order as 700 directly. i hope that you like this uh, uh, video about the last direct cost on item card it is the, the value that is a very indirect cost for the last purchase order that you did that you post or last positive adjustment so it will consider the unit cost so be careful to if you would like to consider the line discount amount you have to apply it directly on the direct cost field on the purchase order i hope that you enjoyed this thanks for watching